Hi, it's Dan here from Flexible, and today we're gonna to talk about what's better, Facebook ads or TikTok ads? Let's dive in. All right, before I get started, um, we've actually done some experimentation with TikTok ads versus Facebook ads, and we've got a simple case study um, at the end of this video where we're gonna run through exactly what we did and what worked and what won. So if you stick around to the end, we'll reveal more then. We probably are all aware that TikTok's uh, taken the world by storm as a social media um, platform over the past couple of years. And it's gone from kids using it and dancing in their rooms to adults actually, you know, taking over the platform and creating content. In fact, I've been there um, for the past like three months, starting to build a following and it's gone from um, people using it just for kind of entertainment value to a lot of businesses kind of understanding the power and the reach and um, you know, just how easy it is to build a following over at TikTok. So it's moved from very much a novelty to a tool that's very valuable, uh, you know, for not only influencers, but people trying to grow a business and their brand that really has grown well. And we all know that Facebook has been a very resilient company over uh, the past decade, right? They've, they've had uh, lots of uh, competition from the likes of Snapchat and Google and uh, uh, Pinterest ads and Twitter and all that type of stuff, right? But I think you'll find in, in my world and in the lead generation world, there's still the majority of people that kind of when they get started, the first port of call is always Facebook because you know their algorithms are just amazing. They have lost a little bit with the iOS tracking stuff that's gone on. They've lost a lot actually. And what, you, what you're actually seeing in the news at the moment is that I think it was $80 billion has been wiped off the share price of Facebook. And I was having a look at their graph of the kind of the stock price um, over the last decade. And it's dropped so far, it's down back towards where it was um, almost 10 years ago. The date today is the 1st of November, right? So they've had a huge, huge drop in what's going on over there. And investors are bailing out on them because Zuckerberg has been very strong-willed about where he's going to invest his money and that is into the, the metaverse, right? It hasn't worked out well for him. It hasn't taken off and uh, people are starting to get freaked out a little bit, right? Coupled with the effect of how, they've treat, how they treat their advertisers, right? Like I run a big community of lead generators that are all on Facebook and I would say nine out of 10 of them have had problems with account bans, um, account restrictions, um, ads being reviewed for the wrong reasons, um, being locked out of Facebook and not being able to get back into any support whatsoever. And there's a lot of hate going on um, inside, you know, with the people that I talk to. Yes, when Facebook's good, it's fantastic, right? Let's not knock it, but TikTok's making it easy to pull users away from Facebook over to TikTok, especially because the support there is way, way better, all right? So let's look at some pros of the Facebook platform. As I was saying before, the algorithm that Facebook has is known as the best in the world, all right? They have 52,000 data points on each individual user as they come into and use and experience their, their platform, right? The targeting is, is great, right? We've all seen the time when you're kind of on your WhatsApp um, app talking about going to a holiday to Turkey and the next thing you know, uh, you're seeing an ad in Turkey inside the Facebook platform, right? Like they just know how to track you Sometimes it's a little bit spooky. Sometimes you think they're listening into your phone, right? Um, maybe not so much now, but a little while back, they just got this down better than anyone, anyone else I've seen when it comes to their targeting features, right? And as I said, it has been lost a little bit with what's going on um, with the iOS uh, updates, but it's still pretty amazing. There is also like so many different types of creative that you can use and test, right? So you've got image ads, you can use video, you can do carousel ads. Um, you can advertise um, on the right-hand side of the news feed when you're on desktop. You can target desktop only, and then you've got uh, you know Instagram where you can show Instagram only ads, which is a whole nother ball game. They really just have so many ways for you to get your offer um, or what you're advertising out to your audience. You also have a huge number of people to advertise to. I remember um, one of the most profitable 
campaigns we ever ran was was in Scotland, right? I think we were doing a couple of hundred leads per day in a, in a vertical up there. I think there was 4 million people we could advertise to total. I think that was 4 million male and female and kids and adults. That was the population of Scotland. Correct me if I'm wrong. And we had to um, get the client a couple, couple of hundred leads per day, which might seem like a lot, right? But when you're advertising to, to 4 million people, and let's say it halved down to 2 million, you know, if you're able to use... Um, the algorithms and get the ads in front of the right people, this audience just will continue to refresh. As long as you refresh your creatives and try different hooks, there's always going to be the ability to get a couple, a couple of hundred leads per day to that audience size, right? And then when you go to the rest, like for us, the rest of the UK, it's obviously huge. And then when you go over to America and advertise, you know, we're doing some stuff in um, Florida and California at the moment, the size, the number of people using the Facebook app is humongous, all right? There's just so there's just so, um, so many people to advertise to. Their platform has got so many users and that's why it's so powerful. All right, so let's look at some pros of the TikTok ads platform, okay? The first one is that there's less competition on TikTok, all right? And there won't be forever, trust me, as the word kind of spreads. There is a barrier to entry as well to get on, which means that's a con, I guess, but it's also a pro because if you are clever about how you do this and you have the ability to record a, a shaky iPhone video and write a decent creative, which um, some of your competitors might not want to do, then it means that you're able to jump on the platform and there's going to be less people advertising your offer there. Okay, so less competition um, and a bigger kind of barrier to entry, in my opinion, is a real pro. The next pro is that you don't have to go in and learn a completely new ad platform on the back end, right? I remember when I went from Google to Facebook back in the day, I had to almost, this was kind of power editor days where you could download the power editor onto your laptop and you could use that as a way to be able to upload and download your ads and create campaigns and ad sets and duplicate. And it took me, you know, a good, a good kind of month to six, six weeks to figure out what I was doing there, right? And the beauty of what TikTok have done is they've almost completely, completely ripped off the Facebook backend. So anyone that's had experience on Facebook um, and knows how to use their systems can just go straight over to TikTok and get up and running super fast. Like literally, I said to my account manager, Graham, we need to chuck some ads up on TikTok for the first time. Let's record a video, let's get it up. And by, the, by I think the start of the next day, we're up and running and getting leads. It is that fast and that easy. And it really is cool how quickly you can make that transition. For example, there's also different ways you can target that uh, Facebook hasn't got. For example, hashtags visited, that's the, an obvious one that's, that springs to mind. So you're gonna find um, different ways to get in, in front of the people that you need to over on TikTok. It's also way cheaper traffic, okay? So the CPMs or cost per 1000 views of your ad on TikTok are way cheaper, you know, up to 75% cheaper than what they are on, on Facebook, okay? Which means that if you are able to write an engaging ad, then you're able to get more eyeballs on it, way more eyeballs on it for the same amount of money. The next thing I guess is that, you know, we are, if you're advertising on Facebook, you are a native advertiser, okay? And the whole point of being a native advertiser is to be able to blend your ads into the platform. And the great thing about TikTok ads is because you can only really do videos, your videos appear like, you need to make them appear like native content, right? So if you can be engaging and get eyeballs on them and get people to stick around and watch and there's an offer and you transition to the offer well at the end, then um, it doesn't stand out so much as an ad, which is a real bonus when it comes to, um, you know, getting ads and creatives to work. And I guess the last one, it's just a general point, but TikTok is the fastest growing social media platform ever, like ever. If you haven't tried um, TikTok, I would definitely um, give it a go because it's just exploding right now. Whereas Facebook's struggling, you see it all over the news, TikTok's going the absolute other way. We've been running some ads. It's actually for my own offer to get people into my program, but we've been running on Facebook for a very long time. Um, and you know, it works, it's been great, but we thought we'd, show, we'd throw up some very quick TikTok ads and see what the results are. So we took the same kind of hook and copy and all of that over at Facebook. I sat down in this very seat and recorded like, it wasn't me dancing or anything funny like that. It was very much like an ad and me talking like this with the flexible sign in the background. I just got something out quickly, all right, with, you know, literally um, within 10 minutes of deciding to do this. It actually went really well. 
okay? And my, mind you, we need all, to do a lot of work on the creative. It was a pretty terrible first effort, okay? And the results were that the CPMs were 81% cheaper than on Facebook. The cost per click was 71% cheaper, okay? So uh, whereas we're getting um, clicks for um, to our, we're running a lead format in Facebook for kind of three dollars or something like that we we're, were down below you know a dollar fifty for TikTok, which is really significant okay um, the thing is that not not all of those uh, not as many of those clicks converted which is interesting we need to look at that but our cost per lead came in around, around about the same as Facebook um, or one one percent less and for me that's a huge win on a platform that we've never used before um, with a creative that we just threw up um, in the morning and it very much looked like an ad to be honest with you. Okay, so if I look um, at for us, what's better Facebook or TikTok ads? You know, from our experimentation so far, you get way cheaper CPMs, cost per thousand impressions, cheaper traffic, way cheaper clicks, but it doesn't look like the algorithm's kind of like um, finding the people in the same way as it does on Facebook. So our cost per lead was only marginally cheaper but if I had to look across the board I would say that I, there's more potential for us and for what we're doing here at Flexible um, uh, over on TikTok and that's not to mention the fact that as I said before we have a brand new creative um, we didn't really think too much about it I probably didn't kind of put any humor or anything like that it's not my kind of cup of tea really but you know if I have to do it I'll have to do it but we really needed to kind of get the, the creative dialed in make it more native and more integral with the TikTok platform and we expect things to get much better because when we look at what we're doing over at Facebook, we've spent over the years probably close to a million dollars on um, just our flexible offer on paid ads. Okay, so we've been optimizing that for a really long time and we know what works over there. So we definitely will be pursuing um, uh, TikTok a little more. So I guess, I guess my answer is um, I don't think one's better than the other at the moment for us anyway. I think the best thing about this whole thing is you can add another string to your bow, all right? This has been a long time coming because people are so fed up with having their Facebook account shut down, the terrible support that goes with it, the whole shit show that is going on over there, all right? It really is a pain in the backside and sometimes you need to find something new and that could be YouTube or it could be Google ad search or whatever that is, but TikTok is super easy, super fast to get going low barrier, relatively low barrier of entry. And, I, and that's the big win for me today. It's just, it's just being really happy that there's another platform we can hang our hat on at any time and get up relatively quickly. So if you have enjoyed this video today, please give us a like so we know to create more videos like this. Um, if you've got any comments about TikTok versus Facebook or you wanna tell us about your own experience, we'd love to hear from you in the comment section. And finally, please subscribe to our channel so we can create more videos like this. I'll speak to you soon.